My name is Timlade Tudulokwe Shifade, Creative Director CEO of TT Dog. TT Dog is a contemporary fashion leather brand, yeah. indigenous leather brand, and uh, we design as well as we manufacture leather goods for men and women, such as um, bags, shoes, sandals, slippers, um, as well as more other varieties of fashion items like wallets, um, cufflinks, belts and the lights. I've always loved doing business. So in fact, right from school, I used to sell things. I sell all kinds of stuff like phones, gadgets, laptops, you know. So I do buying and selling and, you know, because we were students. So all I just needed to do was get what people were requesting for, you know, down to MP3 players. I sold all kinds of things, you know fashion items and I was I was I always loved doing business so I saw myself in that direction and less of public health even though I found public health interesting and um, I started preparing myself for the future and so I, I decided to create something you know but first the what was important for me was identifying the problem which was how fashion is perceived in the Nigeria industry. The clothing business was a bit saturated. Everybody was into sewing and all that. You know, there were a few fashion brands people could reckon with then. But for footwear, there wasn't really any brand. People didn't, there wasn't any brand people could, you know, reckon with and say, oh, this brand, strictly footwear. And so we decided to fill up that gap and we introduced TT Dog. You know, fashion is a different and is a different uh, category entirely. Now, luxury can also be categorized under fashion, so they also go hand in hand. But not necessarily, you break your bank to be fashionable. I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say. But for you to go luxury, it depends if you can afford it, you go for it. You get if you can afford it, you go for it. But luxury also has a perception. Luxury also is quality. So you want to be fashionable but you don't want to be luxury. You just find yourself in a probably in a month you wear you buy probably 10 shirts. Let me just give you an idea. You buy 10 shirts, you know, and probably in two, three months those 10 shirts you can't wear them anymore. And you got them very cheap. But if you buy some luxury items, you find out that some last three, four years, you know, five years, and you're like, so that's the value you get for fresh, for luxury. You get what I'm saying? Yes, so luxury is a beautiful thing. People naturally gravitate towards perfection, and that is what Koga Studios has been able to feed and deliver to people. Towards maintaining the culture, tradition, legacy, and vision of the founder of the one-stop production media and entertainment firm, Koga Studios. Little wonder that Koga Studios in the last one year has been a mecca to the top shots in the entertainment industry and other works of life. We can boast to say that Koga has been part of the success of many productions in Nigeria, be it events, movies, what it to mention are 93 Days Movie, The Wedding Party Movie, soon to be released wedding party 2 mfc and alike with them. fantastic with a seating capacity of over 800 in banquet style you can't but love to use the fully air-conditioned koga ultra modern event all 
Koga Entertainment, power to entertain. Yeah, well, we've tried it before. We wanted to create an app for our brand. But, you know, it still boils down to the target market. You know, our target market, are they the type of people that are, you know, 100%, you know, mobile, will I say, app friendly? Do they, will they download an app because they want to go on your platform? Or they'll rather just come to your physical store or they'll rather just check Instagram? Because apps is a good, brilliant idea, but the current situation of what people are doing now, are people ready for this um, platforms? You know, because let's not forget that there are a lot of brands that have come into the system and they've tried to change the game, you know, and it's been, it's been a lot of work because let's not forget Nigeria is an emerging country in terms of how they, they view technology. A lot of people, even till date, people, there are a lot of people that are skeptical of using ATMs. A lot of people are skeptical of downloading apps for transactions, transfers, you know, through banks and, you know, people are still skeptical. Not that they don't have the money, but because, you know, because of some kind of funny images that have been painted with, you know, Nigeria online platforms, you know. And uh, so people are a bit skeptical. But over time, thank God, you know, compared to five years ago, now it's easy. A lot of people can do transfer even without seeing you. There's a lot of trust. You know, people go, they use POS, they don't even, you know, they trust you, you know. So I believe in the next five years, it's definitely going to be better. But today, what are we saying? I think it's a good platform to start with, but trust me, people would just rather go on your website or on social media, see what you have and probably order. Shopping should be seamless. People want to buy, go and leave. They don't, they don't have time. The moment you start to, you know, they just, they just walk away. And that's the way the Nigerian market is. You know, buy Nigeria. People say buy Nigeria, buy Nigeria. But we also need to understand that Nigeria is an emerging country and people are exposed. So for you to say buy Nigeria, let's start from you know the 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 sellers, you know, the designers, let's say that I'm talking about my field right now. You need to be able to, you know, design and produce something that people can wear. And it's very important because People are exposed, you know, they've seen all that products abroad and, you know, so what they're doing is they're comparing. They're saying, oh, okay, will I buy this or buy this? So you say buy Nigerian, but is it affordable? Does it feel good when I wear it? Does it last long? Is it durable quality? You know, a lot of things are put in place. So for you to be able to tap into and say, people buy me, we need to give people what they can buy and what they can pay for. It's very important, you know, and um, for buyers, it's important that they encourage the sellers, the designers, because they should understand that, you know, designing is also from uh, the perspective of an individual. So basically, people design based on what they're exposed to and what they see and how they feel that this item should look like. So if you don't like it, it's best to just, oh, okay, oh, nice piece, you know, encourage the person. Not just because some people, oh, they say, say what's this? It's rubbish. Like, Come on, man, take it away. You know, it's discouraging. You get what I'm trying to say? It's discouraging. So you need to be able to encourage the person, oh, this is beautiful. Oh, I think I have somebody that will like this piece. Oh, I think I can buy it for somebody. Oh, if you go to this market, I'm sure you will have a lot of people. Do you get? Because that's what fashion is about. It's not one string. People have different ideas on how they want people to look you know so no don't criticize you understand it's it don't, they don't get it to, it's good to criticize people's work but not downplay their work you know so and um, also you know is 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 also good to pay you know good you know premium for what is premium 
you know, someone comes and says, oh, he crafted this item, this piece probably came from blah, 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 or imported this, you know, and if he puts a tag price tag to it, pay for it. If you can't pay for it, you walk away. Don't say, oh, and they say buy Nigeria and you want to cut our neck. Come on. But because first and foremost, if you go to the European market, for example, anything craft is not cheap. You pay good price for it. Probably not break the bank, but you pay good price for it. You know, and um, I've seen a lot of Nigerian products. People actually use good quality. You know, so don't downplay and say, oh, okay, I knew where the guy made it nice. You know, just because uh, and, uh, well, I can't pay that much. No, it doesn't work that way. You need to also pay for intellectual property. That's how to grow the brand. That's how to grow the economy. You know, don't downplay another person's work because of your own inability or capability to afford the products. People believe that I have to start a business and by the time they go in, after two months, three months, sometimes maybe a year or two, you know, they just go down the drain and, you know, you get depressed and you're thinking you can never make things work. But if you really look at it, uh, did you even make a right, the right decision in the first place? You know, so I, I, I'll tell some people that the business is not for everybody. Secondly, the business has a lot of categories. There's designing, there's merchandising, there's illustration, there's retail, you know. So when you say you want to be a designer, be a designer. Design clothes for people. Focus on how to design and sell it to people. Don't design retail, illustrate, market, do this. Only you wants to do everything. It doesn't work. It's a lot of pressure, a lot of work. Before you know it, you just you just break down and you say, ah, this business is not working. If you have to partner with people, partner with people. Imagine I don't delegate and it's just me, eh? a customer walks in and I say, I want to, let me do it, don't worry, let me so, It doesn't work that way. You have to have people who have trained, who have the understanding in how to sell, how to market, you know, how to merchandise, how to, you know, probably they're into photography and you can't do everything. So you need to understand this business is very important you know get on some trip you know do a short course on fashion designing you know fashion business merchandise retail you know and you know get more insight on it you know basically my name is Tim Shifadi. you're watching fashion diaries on Koga TV Koga entertainment power to entertain